Hi everybody, I'm Valerie Snayman, and this summer I get to travel and study in South Korea, all due to the program, Nestle, or the National Security Language Initiative for Youth. I got into this program through my internship with the World Affairs Council of Pittsburgh, and since then I had a six-hour application process, medical forms to fill out, and countless hours of studying the language and culture of South Korea. And here I am now. 24 hours before I fly to New York for our pre-departure orientation and then two days later to South Korea. I am so excited and I can't wait. So in the mail the very first thing we received was um, this giant packet full of um, many different packets. We had like medical information, insurance information, um, a really helpful booklet that had a W curve of how we'll feel throughout the entire trip. It had um, useful movies to watch, useful websites, and a lot of cultural things that I didn't know before. So because of that packet, I started looking into Korean culture and trying to learn the ropes of how not to offend people. So since then, we've had countless emails about um, different ways we can make ourselves feel at home, how we can adapt. So basically what's been happening lately is we all had a big group on Facebook of 40 of us where we just talk about like things we would like to know about Korea, we talk about our feelings, about um, leaving our families, and we ask each other all these questions and get others answered that kind of leaves us all with a general knowledge that is really helpful for when we leave. So I love that group, I love the people in it, love you guys, and I feel a lot more comfortable going to the pre-departure orientation in New York because I know these people. So. The big uproar for a long time was our host families. We wanted to get to know them, we wanted to know who they are, where we were staying, but it took forever. It took absolutely forever. We were told Saturday, we were told Monday, and it didn't come to like Wednesday. But I have it now. I'll be staying with a host family of a mother, a father who's an architect, um, a little girl who's 10, and a little boy who's um, 13. So I'm really excited to meet them. The little boy wants to be a lawyer, and the little girl wants to be an ice skater, and that's just adorable. I got them all host family gifts, which we're supposed to do. For the father, I got little postcards of Pittsburgh, and also a Pittsburgh architecture book with a lot of um, information on how it's made, and different sites in Pittsburgh. For the mother, I got her a little candle, I got her maple syrup, because I'm making them French toast, I got her Pennsylvania Heinz ketchup. And I, got, uh, and I also got her perfume that smells really nice. Um, for the little boy, I got um, a t-shirt of the Pittsburgh Pirates because I heard that baseball is really big in Korea. And I also got him a Hershey's chocolate bar because I also heard that they didn't have sweet chocolate in Korea, that it was all bitter. And finally, my gift for my little host sister, Nae Young. Nae Young. And I got her a chocolate bar as well, but I got her necklaces. We have matching necklaces. Mine will say Big Sister, and hers will say Little Sister. And I think that's really cute because we'll be host sisters, and I hope she welcomes me to be her sister, and I hope the entire family welcomes me into their family. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> Packing has definitely been the hardest thing for me. Um, I started out with my big luggage bag, my carry-on, I mean and my check bag. And I looked at it and was like, wow, I have plenty of room for stuff. But once I started putting things in the bag, it was a different story. I had to just like put all the essentials in, like things I could not live without, and then I realized there was not a lot of room for things that I wanted. But I rolled everything up, I shoved things in, everything's going to be really wrinkled, but I got as much as I wanted in there. Less than 24 hours until I leave for the pre-departure orientation. Um, at 7.15 in the morning, I'm going to Pittsburgh's airport, where I'll say bye to my family, I'll check in, I'll meet up with Xander Boots, who's going with me, and um, I'll be leaving for New York. Once I get in New York, it'll be about 10.15, and they said that people that arrive early can go sightsee. So I would really like to see the Statue of Liberty, because I've never seen it, and I want to see the Empire State Building. So by that time, after we're done sightseeing, everybody will sort of be together, except the people coming in at 6, but most everyone will be together, and I think we're having dinner and just chilling for the rest of that night, 
And then we start our orientation, where we have guest speakers tell us all about the country, all about what will be happening, and it's sort of like a briefing session. After those two days, on the 28th, we leave for Korea. Um, it'll be a 13 or 14 hour flight to Tokyo. Yes! I love Tokyo. And then about an hour or so to um, Ichion Airport, which is in South Korea. <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Since we're actually in South Korea, we're spending two or three nights in um, a youth hostel. I know nothing about youth hostels, so hopefully it's nice, a good place to start learning the country. Um, we'll be exchanging our money there, and we'll be sightseeing for the first few days until we meet our host family. 30 minutes outside of Seoul, um, actually 30 minutes away from Sogong University, and I think I'm the closest one to the university. There's some people with like an hour and 50 minutes, and I feel so bad for them. <laughs> I'm really worried about getting lost, because I know I will. And I'm also worried about Korean washing machines, because I don't know how to use them. But I'll figure it out. And hopefully my Korean host mom, Minha, will help me out. She seems like a really sweet lady. And I'm still trying to interpret what she meant by, quote, I am charismatic with naughty children, end quote. I don't know what that means. I hope it doesn't mean she's strict. I hope she was kidding. But I'll see you very soon. Um, so tomorrow morning I get to meet everybody. I Thank you everyone for watching me and for visiting my channel and also for visiting my blog. Um, I'm so excited to see South Korea and hopefully I can show you too. I'll be vlogging every single day, blogging whenever I can, and hopefully I can show you what South Korea from a foreigner's st standpoint is like. Thank you, and yongi gaseo!